Welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph for the Lafayette Sports Network and GoLeopards.com. The Leopards coming off their first win of the year this year against Bucknell, and they did it both offensively and defensively. They had both areas of the game, offense and defense, working well together, turnovers turning into points, and that's the way Lafayette came up with 14 fourth quarter points, shut them out. The defense has been playing really, really well, only giving up 15 points a game in Patriot League games, and over the last three games, only 19 points. So this is a defense that's doing it, and I know up front they're doing it well with defensive line play. So today we're going to talk about the defensive line, we're going to talk about get off, we're going to talk about lockout, and we're going to talk about violent disengagement. In other words, what a defensive lineman needs to do. So if you look at Lafayette's defensive line right here in that 3-4 nose guard, two defensive ends, a lot of time you're looking to penetrate and attack what we call half the man. So if you're trying to get into that front side A gap or back side A gap, you want to penetrate, get up the field, keep your shoulders square. If you're getting a reach block, you want to continue to move, not get washed down the line of scrimmage. For a backside defensive end here, as he comes down the line, he wants to close, keep his shoulders square, again, maintaining your gap integrity. So that get off, in other words, that split second before the ball snapped, you want to be able to get off. And if you look last week on the backside, Ellis had a beautiful off get off, came around with a sack, made an unbelievable play, Keith Earl, with a big sack at the end of the game. So get off, very important, getting off the ball as quickly as you can, anticipating that snap count without being offsides. Lockout is the second thing I talk about. So as you're taking on that block, you want to make sure that you get your elbows in, thumbs up, lock the man out, and obviously uh, look and diagnose where the play is going to go. So get yourself into somebody, lock out here. If you're a linebacker coming through, again, lock out, find the football, keep your outside arm free, keep your gap integrity. So very important to lock out. If you get caught inside, sometimes you can get swallowed up, you can get your outside arm grabbed, things like that. So lock out. Get some disengagement. So here, the last thing we're talking about is violent disengagement. In other words, you have your man locked out, the ball's coming downhill, whether it's front side or back side, you want to be able to rip and get off of those blocks. So in other words, when you're locked out in this position, you want to be able to get off the block by pulling the man down, pulling him across, and then using that outside arm to rip through. So getting off, number one, number two, lockout, number three, Violent disengagement. So this defensive line up front last year versus Fordham, Malik Ham by himself had three sacks. This team gives up 26 sacks total this year. So Lafayette's defensive line is going to be important to get off the ball, number one, to lock out, find a guy like Zach Davis who's averaging 100 yards a game. So stopping the run up front, making sure we get off of blocks, and then that violent disengagement, not just by the D linemen, but by guys like Schaefer here and also Jordan there, Dickens, all these guys have to get off of blocks. So get into blocks, get off of blocks, run to the football. 11 man people coming to the football can cause things like fumbles. You saw last week Marco Olivas, a big fumble. You see her Thomas with the recovery. Three plays later, Lafayette's in the end zone. So this is a big game for Lafayette to get their second win, continue on the road to the Patriot League Championship. 12.30, we'll see you at Fisher Field.